the world's teeniest haul clip. But I have to put this stuff to use in a minute, so I am going to show you a couple things that Hannah brought for me. Did not order these, Hannah brought me them because she is an angel. So, first things first is we went to Disney together, which was the most magical time. As you can see, we got a lot of things done in those five days. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like looking at this list. It's like a double page. Usually my plans for the week are, I break it into two columns on one page and it's usually one and a half columns. My Disney plans is three columns. So a full page and then the back. And I was like, I am looking at these and I'm not excited to do, I usually do little custom sheets like this for myself. And I was like, it's gonna be rough. She's like, well, I'm already doing mine. So do you usually me to print you an extra? And I was like, wow, you're amazing. Thank you so, so much. And she made them teeny tiny. So very excited about that. And then she also gave me two more things. So this one here, I don't know. I think this might've just been what was left. Like this was just that. And then she also gave me things that were, were things that I would have put in my plans because basically I took notes for the entire time and then I just sent her the notes and then she took out all the things that were me specific and put them on here and then also afterwards stuff for the same week so I could they all match so very excited to have all of these and don't have to like do them myself because this looks like a lot of work but we think smarter not harder around here and then she also gave me these which is kind of like sort of an inside joke but also not an inside joke. So we'll talk more about it whenever we get to it. But basically, we are a training. So we have training in gold, silver, rose, question mark, hollow, sparkly hollow, and black, which I am very, very excited to have. Super teeny, super cute in the Disney font. And that's everything for this haul clip. We're here with a haul clip. I'm not sure if this is the first um maybe maybe not i don't really know so this is my order from hannah along with some fun sneaks that i designed let's go ahead and get into my actual order i know she's going to be having chris's birthday sale soon so i knew there were things that i wanted prior to that so i went ahead and picked them up so here are all of the freebies there is tiered freebies. You can see what they are on her Instagram. So this is the, this is the monthly freebie, which I will be putting this with the Mario kit and using it for Bennett's birthday. It's so cute. And then my freebie, which says out here doing the best I can, which we'll be switching up. I don't think she actually gave me one, but it will be switching up. Maybe she'd have to check. And then there's these black, like pixely icons, super cute. And then also a SPC foiled matte sampler. Then I did pick up, oops, well, let me show you the card first. This is the like freebie card. And then this is the first part of my order. So let me separate it out. Okay. So these are the new font of the month. I think that this will still be available. No, it might not be available when this comes up, but it's so cute. Maybe she'll bring it back one day, but it is like kind of like pixely kind of gamer style. So I went ahead and switched up the scripts that I have. I should have got it in black, but uh, too late now. I switched up the scripts that I put on here. So I have the normal with letter, clean, work, date, appointment, cuddle, family time, in-laws, playtime, groceries, tired AF, Nick, Theo, Lila, with H, Bennett, training, game night, walk, walk, D&D, &D, up late, girls night, BG girlies, gaming girlies, movie night, and up early. So those are the new scripts I got and I did get them in silver, gold, two and three in sparkly hollow because I thought like a lot of the gamer kits I use are in sparkly hollow two rainbow because again I probably will be putting one of these right away with that mario kit one in gold hollow and then one in regular hollow then I went ahead and picked up these D, D icons as well as a couple of other things for the D, D kit that I came out with 
So let me go ahead and find them so you could see the full situation. Is there only one in here? I think I only ordered one, question mark. I might have. I'll have to go double check. But I ordered the underlays, the D22 underlays. Those are new coming out. Well, they might have already came out, but by now, right now, they didn't come out. And the Dragon Scale underlays, and I asked her to change the bottom to a D20 dice. And then I also ordered the little icons because I thought I could place these on full boxes and stuff. And then I'm trying to think what I did here. Then I ordered the, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I ordered these because something that's coming out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So this is coming out. This is another like little setup. So I did matte bronze, matte silver underlays in Dino 1. Then I got the matte bronze Dino 2, the matte silver Dino 1 overlays. And then I thought as an accent, I did in maroon Dino and the Dino um, bottom washi just to see kind of how that looks. Don't know how I'm feeling. I'll have to wait and see how the kit prints, but it's going to be really cute. Then I went ahead and ordered this, which is the Avril Quotes in Hollow to go with my Disney spread, which I'm actually just going to go ahead and put that right with it right now so that I remember to use them because I already have the base down. I bought these rosette underlays to go with the kit I'm using for Mother's Day, which I believe is the is a mystery from last year it was the december mystery i thought that'd be really cute for mother's day so i'm going to use these maybe put bougie under them I'm not totally sure then i bought botanical two which i'm not sure why i bought these but i'm gonna have to flip through maybe i bought these oh i bought these for the um ew david because they're they're roses i believe and like david rose then I got Rock On in black, and I got this for the Freaky Friday kit. I got Hippie in Sparkly Hollow. Why did I? This one I truly don't remember, but I'm sure I'll find a spot for it. Then I did get Cowboy Underlay, or not Underlay, Cowboy 15mm in Sparkly Hollow and Sparkly Gold, and I'm going to do a manual mix metal of, I think, this strip. And then I might like cut up some pieces of this and put them on like full boxes and stuff. But I thought that'd be really cute for my mixed metal. Um, for Chris, Chris's birthday, I'm using the carnival kit and I'm using like Western underlays, I think. So I thought that'd be really cute to do for the bottom washi. And then I also picked up because she gave me something in light gold and I was like, this looks different. And I think I actually like the light gold better than the regular gold. Let me show you the regular gold. So I might start ordering stuff in regular gold, in light gold instead of regular gold. This is the regular gold. It's a little more warm, yellowy color, and this is more like gold. I think it matches my gold better. Let me see if I have anything near. Yeah, I think it matches my gold better, the light gold, versus the regular gold. You can see the difference quite a bit. That one you can notice the difference. This one I feel like it's not really as a parent. So I think I might start ordering everything in light gold because I think it's so pretty. Kind of obsessed and now I'm like, I need everything again in light gold. And then also, she gave me some things here. So first things first is she gave me the Tanner quotes because she said I might need them for something. And then she also gave me the fantasy and the D&D overlays for the DND kit and gold hollow because they haven't come out yet actually didn't even know that they were coming out and she's like I'm putting them in and then also mansion in dark purple because again we might need it for something I'm not totally sure then I have the new foil bundle and it is so stinking cute she asked me what colors I wanted it in and I chose sparkly hollow and gold hollow and I designed this for Hannah's shop so it'll only be in Hannah's shop but you can get it in a gazillion foil colors but it's only going to be available for a couple of months so definitely get your hands on it. So this is the add-on page so there is a tall box some just really simple but they kind of go along with the bubbles. Uh, whole reinforcers and then one that says life's a beach enjoy the waves with some bubbles around it and that is the add-on and then this is the foil bundle. So this is like an under the sea perfect for summer 
themed foil bundle and it's so stinking cute you have bubble underlays and then look at these full box overlays it's so pretty it's so also satisfying like I just made this like I think like four days ago and now I'm seeing it physically like whenever I order things overseas I don't see it for like literally like three months so I always forget about it but this I feel like I just plopped together and it just turned out so good some bubble underlays the bubbles have just little confetti and other bubbles throughout two of those and then we did reformat this page whenever I was looking at it I was like hmm Hannah what do you think and we switched out the other icons for the little thing icons because you could totally use these and I have on big little things on fancy labels on whatever and they still look cute and then so you have the normal ones here and then I did switch or not switch out but I added some of the board game ones as well and just made those have outlines there's also a bow and a heart in this one so just a couple in there and then it repeats down and you don't have that extra set of the board game ones um, and then there are some new scripts in here and then some of the ones from past but this is just in the font that is on my freebie and is also on the quote box. I thought it looks really cute. And maybe Hannah will be bringing it to the font of the month. I don't know. Maybe I do. Then you have the header overlays, which are super cute. So there's just fish, shells, and starfish, along with deco, date numbers that match the font, and then shell and bubble bottom washi. And I just think that this is so adorable, perfect for summer. I need to find a kit that I want to use this with. I just think it is so good. Or pair it with something, I guess. Then I also said... I need it in blue hollow because I think that'd be really pretty because this is like blue to green. I feel like that's perfect for under the sea type themes. So you have your add-on and then you have the two full box and header page. This is like, you can see this so much better in here, but it's just so stinking pretty. And then again, you can see the icons better. They're just so clean and beautiful. All of those scripts. And then, oh, I should have just showed it to you in this color to begin with, but that's just not the way I roll apparently. So that is everything in this little portion, and I will talk to y'all in my next portion. Okay, so I have a little bit of a teeny tiny wax haul for y'all to start off the collective wax haul. So I did place an order with Fantasy Wax as well as L3. So let's go through the Fantasy Wax stuff first because it's gonna be really quick because these were all just like extra purchases so let's go over the freebies first so I did get a freebie of apple cinnamon it smells so sinking good honestly would just love apple cinnamon on its own for the fall time and then also flapjacks this smells really really yummy it does smell like pancakes with like syrup, like warm ones. So delicious. Then these are all scents that I've talked about before, but these were from the Princess Diary collection and I just went in for extra. So this is brown sugar, zucchini bread, and vanilla butter fudge. I think this is going to be in her pre-order, but I think that you'll see this after the pre-order. It smells so stinking good. Definitely getting more of that. And then this dang, which I think the last time I checked this was still available. And it's pink sugar, blue sugar, and sugar cookie. And y'all be sleeping on it. Because it smells so singing good. I'm probably going... I was like, I could use it in the laundry room, but I like it so much that I think I'm going to use it in my bedroom. I did get two of... Or, sorry. Three of Catch a Falling Star. And this is Wildberry Mousse, Blackberry Jam, Butter Cookies, and Zucchini Bread. And this is heavenly. It reminds me of a cousin or even like a sister of Kirsten's fave. So I knew I wanted to get three of those. And then I did also get one of Stupid Cupid, which is Sugar Cookie Royale, Strawberry, and Pretzel. Mm, so, so, so yummy. And then a bunt of Shut Up, which is, which is pretzel, yellow cake, and buttercream. Mm, this one's so good. It mostly just smells like pretzel to me, which I've been having love for pretzel. Then I did also get an order in from L3. This was a pre-order. So it did come with Laffy Taffy. I don't really, I don't know. Does anyone eat Laffy Taffy? And then a sticker, which I'm just going to stick the sticker on one of my loaves as a later reminder. And then a free spoon, which I don't know what to do with these. I kind of wish you could opt out of getting the free spoons because I have 
probably about six now and I just ordered one scoop so I just don't need a spoon so I kind of wish they had like an opt-out just to not be wasteful and then there was three freebies in here so let's go through those first the first one in here is Dr. Peppermint I might actually just throw this into my collective planner haul because I feel like I just don't have that much in that either. This is really weird. I don't really think I like the smell of it. It kind of just smells odd. So I'll probably be de-stashing that. Downy Cashmere and Silk. This one's nice. It's not my favorite, but I will melt it in the laundry room. It's like the perfect size for the laundry room. And then Apple Cinnamon, Cinnamon Sugar coffee bean zucchini bread this one's probably gonna be amazing yeah, this one's really nice Ooh, this one's like really really nice i would i'm probably gonna really like this i know it Ooh, that's that's trouble then i did like i said i got one scoop and that is of sugar cookie royale and i just don't think i have had sugar cookie round scoops and scoops tend to be more potent for me like powerful they don't usually last as long but the performance is usually nuts as far as how they throw. So I wanted to try that out. And then I was looking through my God tier drawer and I'm actually running lowish on Sugar Cookie Royale. My God tier drawer acts as whenever I'm feeling sad, I pull something out or I need comfort or I'm just like, I know I'm going to be working like super, super intense and I just want to be smelling something really good. I pull from my God tier drawer. So I wanted to stock up on Sugar Cookie Royale. Sugar Cookie Royale is one of my top five favorite scents. It might sound really basic and boring. And even on cold, like you're gonna be like, mm, that smells good, but like, is it great? No, but on warm, it's literally everything. And, and L3 really lays it in when it comes to the oil on this because it is powerful, potent, everything beautiful, perfect. So Sugar Cookie Royale. And then I was like, well, while I'm here, I have also been having a, a love affair with buttermint. I don't know what it is. It's ever since Hannah showed me it was buttermint, sugar cookie royale, and zucchini bread, I think. And my God, it's so good. I melted on last movie night and it was everything. So I think the zucchini bread definitely warms it up a bit where this, to me, mostly smells like a really creamy buttermint, which I don't love, but I like. I like it. It smells good. I I could melt it on warm once and see like do I I think it almost smells to me like a winter scent. So I might save it, but I might also try melting it and if I don't really like it, I'll also just melt zucchini bread in the same room and then I'll kind of have that combo anyways. So it's like NBD. So that is everything for my little wax portion. I might end up just putting these back in my planner videos. Um, and then doing them maybe all at the end. Let me know if I'm probably going to do that and then see if you like it. So if you like it, let me know and I'll just continue doing it. So that is everything for this portion of the wax part. We got a wax haul from Fantasy Wax Melts. I did get gifted some of this from Kirsten so thank you Kirsten love you so much Lila was playing with it all and there is stuff all over because it was all over the floor because Lila loves wax but I did order some doubles when the release went live so I'll go ahead and show you everything I don't think any of these are available anymore but maybe she will bring them back in a pre-order or something or in future sense so let's go through this first things first is there was a freebie in here this is strawberry white cake which is just always a banger yeah this smells so stinking good love that then let's go through all of the ones i ordered doubles of i ordered doubles of them like without even smelling them because i just had faith in the process so this one here is thing and I love that this Wednesday collection was all in mini chunks. I think that's so cute. I love these for any room in my house because most of my, like, I have five warmers in my living room, five warmers in my bedroom. In my office, I have two. And then in my laundry room, I have one. So that's kind of like my warmer setup. So I can use five anywhere. 
and then I can use the extra cube. I could even save it and use it up in the movie room. I have one that'd be a perfect melt. I could use it in the in my office. I could probably cut this in half or cut one of these in half. I could even just do two. I have bigger warmers, like one bigger warmer in both my living room bedrooms. So I just feel like this sizing is just so perfect. And this one here is Thing. Also, I have a coupon code for Fantasy Wax. I will have it down below. This is apple cinnamon, cinnamon sugar donut and zucchini bread. And if y'all know me, this is like my kind of fall scent. It smells so stinking good. I'm normally not an apple fan, but when it comes to like apple cinnamon and then like just zucchini bread, I am there for it every single second. So I'll probably be melting this in, let's say September. The next one I have in here is Wednesday and this is blackberry sugar cookie sweet bakery dough. And I thought that this one would be kind of similar to um, maybe like Kirsten's fave which it is. It is a little bit more fruity, fruity sweet though versus savory, but it smells really, really yummy. I think I'm probably going to melt this this summer. It smells so good. The next one here is Pilgrim World, which is Bear Claws and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Again, another perfect one for fall. This one smells so good, and the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is not overpowering it, but I can still smell it. I feel like whenever Pumpkin Pecan Waffles is in a blend, sometimes it's just like all you smell. But I also smell the bear claw in this, and it smells so good. It kind of, like, warms it up. And the last one that I have doubles up is Nevermore, which is tea and cakes, waffle cone, and blackberry jam butter cookies. I love the colors of these two. Ooh, this one's really good. It's, like, a really good combo together. I wouldn't have thought to put blackberry jam butter cookies and tea and cakes together. But that is a banger. I'm not smelling too much of the waffle cone, but a lot of the times, unless it's like a single oil and it's a really powerful one, I don't normally smell waffle cone. So mostly that smells like the um, other two notes. The next one here is Weems, which is blueberry, flapjacks, and maple buttercream. This one smells good. Normally, I don't like blueberry scents, but this smells very true blueberry pancake kind of scent. It smells so yummy. Like the ones that you buy pre-made, those are my preferred because I don't mind like you go out to a restaurant and then you have a pancake with blueberries in it, but I just don't love the texture of like a blueberry popping while I'm eating a pancake. So I prefer the ones that are like fake blueberries or like blueberry dried or whatever they do in like pancake mix. You know what I'm talking about? That's what that smells like. It smells so good. Makes me want a blueberry pancake real bad. The next one is Raven, which is Cafe Vienna, French baguette, and butterscotch. This one I don't really... I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's hard for me to melt coffee in my house because Nick doesn't like the scent of, like, artificial coffee. But this one's nice. It definitely is a little bit more rich because of the butterscotch, which really, like, kind of warms it up and makes it a little less bitter. So that one is nice. The next one here is Poe Cup, which is Salty Sea Air and Summer Scoop. This one I was like, I don't know about it. And this is the only one I actually pre-sniffed. So the rest of them, this is first impressions. This one, Lila just threw really far away. So I was like, oh, well, while it's over here, I'll smell it. And I really like this. I think that this is a really nice laundry room scent. And it almost smells like something else, but I don't know what. But it smells so good. So fresh. It's a very, like girly laundry room scent but like in the best way it's like a sweet a soft sweet scent and I really like that one the next one here is wolf out which is strawberry pound cake and cinnamon rolls hmm this one's nice I do like this one I was like kind of nervous about strawberry and cinnamon rolls together that was pretty good pretty excited to give that one out that'll be a really nice like summer transition with the like strawberry and then like the warm scent. The next one is the hide, which is green apple, brown sugar, and pretzel. Normally I don't like green apple, but I'm interested to smell it with pretzel mixed in. Yeah, it still to me just smells mostly like green apple. It's a really powerful scent oil, but this one would be perfect to melt in Nick's office because he loves fruity scents. The next one here is Hummer's Stick Together, which is honey buttered rolls, cornbread, and French baguette. Ooh, this one's super buttery. I normally don't melt super buttery scents, but I think I'm going to melt this one just to kind of see how I like it. Because I feel like I've been recently getting more into pretzel and all of the like more buttery things. So that's me, my tester. And then last but not least is Crackstone Script, which is lavender, vanilla, sugar cookie, and mallow fluff. 
Ooh. This one, again, I feel like is a very, like, for me, laundry room. It smells like a fresh satchel of, like, lavender with, like, a body care vanilla. That's kind of what I'm getting. It's nice. It doesn't smell food at all, though. It smells more like a body care item, but, like, a body care item that's, like, slightly trying to be a bakery item. So, I think that'll be perfect for the laundry room. But that, y'all, is everything from Fantasy Wax. I don't have any other wax orders open besides the pre-order order I just placed. If you place an order the pre-order, let me know what you got in the comments down below because I went crazy. But that is everything for this portion of the haul.